Welcome to this comprehensive video course on agriculture, where we explore the foundations, evolution, and future of one of our society's most vital sectors. In this course, we will begin by understanding what agriculture is and explore its different types. We'll then learn about the impact of the Green Revolution, a key moment that transformed agricultural practices and food production worldwide. As we move forward, we'll discuss the importance of studying agriculture, emphasizing the need for continuous education and lifelong development in this ever-changing field. Stay with Wikifarmer Academy and discover the fascinating world of agriculture. Agriculture is the practice of cultivating plants, raising domestic animals, and harnessing biological processes. The goal is to sustain the global population by producing food, fiber, and other essential products. It forms the backbone of human civilization, enabling the development of stable communities and the growth of complex societies. Agriculture encompasses a wide range of activities, from traditional subsistence farming to modern, technologically advanced farming practices that feed billions of people worldwide. What are the different types of agriculture? You can take a moment to review them briefly. Subsistence agriculture is the most basic form of agriculture, where farmers grow food primarily to feed their families, with little to no surplus for trade and profit. It is common in rural areas of developing countries. In contrast to subsistence farming, commercial agriculture involves large-scale production of crops and livestock for sale in the market. It is highly mechanized and includes practices such as monoculture and intensive farming. Industrial agriculture is the type of agriculture that focuses on the mass production of food products using advanced technology, synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and genetically modified organisms. It is common in developed countries and is often criticized for its environmental impacts. Urban agriculture, defined as the activity of food production within or around the boundaries of an urban area, could increase food production by using land that is already available. It is also a way to supply city markets with fresh food, having little to no negative environmental impact. Sustainable agriculture encloses a series of practices that will allow long-term land cultivation and stable food production without causing significant and irreversible damage to the ecosystem. Organic farming avoids the use of synthetic chemicals and GMOs, focusing on natural processes and sustainable practices. It aims to produce food in a way that is environmentally friendly and health-conscious. Agroforestry combines agriculture with forestry, integrating trees and shrubs into crop and livestock systems. It promotes biodiversity and enhances the sustainability of agricultural landscapes. Aquaculture, also known as fish farming, involves the breeding, rearing, and harvesting of fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants. It is one of the fastest growing sectors of agriculture, addressing the increasing demand for seafood. Aquaponics refers to the combined production of fish and plants in recirculating water. It offers the needed sustainability boost to fish farming and horticulture. This concept aims to establish a mutually beneficial connection between fish and plants within a closed-loop system. The fish contribute essential nutrients to fuel plant growth, while the plants work diligently to filter and purify the water for the fish. Smart and precision agriculture uses technology such as GPS, sensors, and data analytics to optimize field-level management regarding crop farming. It helps increase efficiency and productivity while reducing environmental impact. The mid-20th century witnessed a transformative period in global agriculture called the Green Revolution. From the 1940s to the late 1960s, this era introduced technological innovations and practices that dramatically increased food production, particularly in developing countries. Let's ask ourselves what technologies were developed during the Green Revolution. One of the cornerstones of the Green Revolution was the development or breeding of high-yielding varieties of staple crops such as wheat, rice, and maize. Traditional crop varieties often had tall stalks and were prone to lodging, 
leading to extensive yield losses and grain quality deterioration. At the same time, they were sensitive to pests and plant diseases that had a negative impact on the final grain yield. In contrast, the new improved varieties were bred to be shorter, even dwarf, and more tolerant or resistant, allowing them to withstand larger grain production and strong winds. These new varieties were also more positively responsive to fertilizers and irrigation, which further enhanced the total grain production. Corn and wheat are two of the most cultivated staple crops worldwide. If you want to learn everything about the essentials of corn cultivation, from variety selection and best agricultural practices to harvesting, storage, and market dynamics, you can start our sustainable corn production and market online course on Wikifarmer Academy. Pause the video if you want to have a look at the course modules. Additionally, you can get a complete overview of the cultivation of wheat, you can gain essential knowledge and improve how you cultivate or handle wheat grains. The course explores everything from variety selection and best farming practices to harvest timing, storage techniques, quality grading, and market insights. Another advancement that developed during the Green Revolution was the chemical fertilizers. Synthetic nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizers provided essential nutrients that were often deficient in agricultural soils and were necessary to help the new high-yielding varieties reach their yield potential. The global and widespread adoption of these fertilizers helped farmers achieve much higher productivity on the same amount of land. However, the intensive and usually incautious use of chemical fertilizers also brought significant challenges, which can be clearly observed nowadays, expressed as soil degradation, reduced soil fertility, environmental pollution, and loss of biodiversity. Alongside chemical fertilizers, the Green Revolution brought an increased use of chemical pesticides and herbicides to protect crops from pests, diseases, and weeds. These chemicals played a critical role in reducing crop losses and ensuring good crop health, resulting in higher yields. Until that time, weed management was performed mainly by hand which was time-consuming and labor-intensive. While pesticides and herbicides contributed to the success of crop production globally, their use also raised significant health and environmental concerns. The over-reliance on and overuse of chemical pest control led to the development of pesticide-resistant pests and herbicide-resistant weeds, making their control even harder. Moreover, the misuse and overuse of these substances posed risks to farm workers, consumers, and the environment, highlighting the need for safer and more sustainable pest management practices. It is essential to train all farmers about the best practices when using these substances and learn how to implement sustainable agricultural practices to ensure a safe environment and long-term productivity of their farms while minimizing harm to the ecosystem and ensuring food safety for consumers. This is why studying agriculture is essential for several reasons, such as sustainability, economic opportunities, technological advancement, and global impact. Agriculture offers a wide array of career paths. Whether you're interested in hands-on farming, agribusiness, research, or policy, numerous opportunities exist to make a meaningful impact. Agriculture is dynamic, with constant developments in technology, sustainability, and global trade, making it an exciting area of study and work. Sustainable agriculture is a philosophy and a set of practices that all together satisfy three different conditions. First, respecting the environment and protecting natural resources. Next, secure a fair and adequate income for all farmers. And last but not least, not compromise the ability of the next generations to live on agriculture and have a fair and adequate income in the future as well. The biggest obstacle to establishing sustainable agriculture is the lack of education, and the second biggest is the lack of capital on behalf of the farmers. On the one hand, farmers may not know the consequences of not establishing sustainable farming, so they keep applying the old traditional methods that degrade natural resources and pollute the environment. On the other hand, some others may not be able to apply sustainable agriculture practices due to a lack of capital. Establishing sustainable agriculture methods requires thousands of small steps that all together will take the farmer to the next level in three to four years. However, some farmers cannot wait that long and rely solely on this year's income. 
Agriculture was considered a labor-intensive sector and has evolved into a knowledge-intensive industry that demands continuous education and lifelong learning. The transformation is driven by continuous technological advancements and changing and challenging climatic conditions. For farmers to thrive in this dynamic environment, they must be equipped with the necessary skills, knowledge, and competences to adapt and innovate. This necessitates a strong emphasis on education and lifelong development in the agricultural sector. In this context of continuous improvement, Wikifarmer Academy is the place to learn everything about sustainable agricultural practices and how to implement them in your field to increase your yields without harming the environment under the pressure of climate change. The course provides eight comprehensive modules that cover all the essential aspects of a sustainable agroecosystem and is designed for all stakeholders in the agri-food chains, farmers, food processors, distributors, and consumers. Take a moment to have a look at the modules. As we conclude this course, it's clear that agriculture is far more than just farming. It is a field that requires continuous learning and adaptation. By leveraging resources like Wikifarmer Academy and its courses, you can continue to expand your expertise and contribute to a more sustainable and productive agricultural future. Thank you for joining us, and we encourage you to keep learning and growing in your agricultural journey.